Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take you through the case study of McDonald's on their process of recruitment, selection and training. Before moving to this case study, I would request everyone who are watching this video to subscribe 5 minutes learning channel in YouTube in order to get my recent case study video updates on time. Also, this video is enabled with English subtitles for your better understanding. Now let's move to the case study. For McDonald's, people are its most important asset. This is because customer satisfaction begins with the attitudes and the abilities of employees. Effective workers are the best route to success. For these reasons, McDonald's strives to attract and hire the best and to provide the best place to work. All business experience staff turnover for various reasons. Example, career change, leaving the area, returning to education, a new opportunity elsewhere. Recruiting and training staff is very expensive and businesses will look to keep staff turnover to a minimum level. One way of doing this is to choose wisely and treat them well. McDonald's needs people who want to excel in delivering outstanding service to ensure the company recruits the right people. It has identified essential skills and behaviors that applicants should be able to demonstrate. For each position, there is a specific job description outlining typical duties and responsibilities and a personal specification defining personal skills and competencies. Under McDonald's recruitment policy, each individual restaurant is responsible for filling hourly paid positions. For recruiting hourly paid employees, McDonald's uses several avenues. Positions are generally advertised in the restaurant. The company's recruitment history shows this is the best method of hiring quality staff. McDonald's also uses local job centers, carrier fairs, and other local facilities. It is vital to use effective hiring material with a clear message targeted at the right audience. A recruitment exercise often generates more applications than that is required. The manager will select the applicants to be interviewed and will conduct the interviews. Over 60% of restaurant crew are aged 20 or under. And for the majority of the applicants, a job with McDonald's would be their first experience of employment. For many young people, McDonald's also offers a career opportunity. A well-run interview will identify an applicant's potential to be a successful McDonald's employee. To find people who will be committed to excel in delivering outstanding service, McDonald's scripts an interview guide that helps the company predict how an applicant's past behavior is likely to influence future performance. It uses a fact-based decision-making process. The questions looks for actual events or situations rather than allowing applicants to give a general or theoretical response. Interviewers look for behavioral evidence in the applicant's life history that fits with the requirements of the job. The interviewer rates candidate on their responses and offers job to those who earn the highest ratings. McDonald's future manager comes from two main sources. More than half of salaried management positions are taken up by hourly paid employees who earn promotions. The remaining are graduates. Wherever possible, McDonald's direct applicants towards applying online at www.mcdonalds.co.uk. People who cannot access the web can call the recruitment hotline or pick up a prepaid business replay card from a McDonald's restaurant. The selection process includes an initial online psychometric test. 
this test produces an initial score. The applicant then attends a first stage of interview and is offered on job experience. This is a second day assessment in a restaurant. Successful completion of on job experience will lead to a final interview, after which the manager decides whether or not to hire the applicant. After the final interview, the manager will rate the applicant's response. A successful applicant will have a demonstrated skills and behavior that have been identified as being key to the position. He or she will have to produce documents to show that he or she is eligible to work for the position. The first stage is to notify all candidates as to whether or not their application has been successful pending satisfactory references. The company notifies all unsuccessful applicants in writing. McDonald's inducts all new employees into the business through a welcome meeting, which they must attend. The welcome meeting gives an overview of the company, including job role, food, hygiene and safety training, policies and procedures, administration, benefits, training and development. New employees will also meet their trainer and tour the restaurant. The company operates a three-week probation period after which employees are rated on their performance and are either retrained or have their employment terminated. McDonald's success is built on the highest standards of quality, service and cleanliness delivered to customers in each of its restaurants. Well-trained crew and managers are the first step to achieving these standards. It is company's policy to provide career opportunities that allow employees to develop to their fullest potential. This includes a comprehensive training program for crew and operations management and career progression that enables a first job employee to progress through to a senior management position through merit-based promotions. The first stage of training is at the welcome meetings. These set out the company's standards and expectations. This is followed by a structured development program that provides training in all areas of business. Crew trainers work shoulder to shoulder with trainees while they learn the operation skills necessary for running each of the 11 workstations in each restaurant, from the front counter to the guild area. All employees learn to operate state-of-the-art food service equipment, gaining knowledge of McDonald's operational procedure. The majority of the training is floor-based or on-the-job training because people learn more and are more likely to retain information if they are able to practice as they learn. All new employees have an initial training period. Here, they are shown the basics and allowed to develop their skills to a level where they are competent in each area within the restaurant. The time scale for this depends on their status, that is, full or part-time job. They will also attend classroom-based training sessions where they will complete workbooks for quality, service, and cleanliness. After the initial training period, all employees receive ongoing training. This is done using observation checklist for the station they are working at. The ratings will go towards their appraisal grading. The restaurants do promote crew members to hourly paid management positions that carry accountability for areas within the restaurant or responsibility for a shift. Training and development is given in the restaurant and in addition, the participants will attend regular development days. On successful completion of a management entrance exam, employees will attend a training course held by the training department at the regional office before returning to the restaurant 
in a management position. The McDonald's management development curriculum takes new recruits from trainee manager to restaurant manager. This consists of on-the-job training and open learning development modules supported by courses and seminars at the company's national and regional training centers. The management development curriculum is aimed at persons aged 21 or over, either graduates or individuals with some previous management experience. It offers a direct route into restaurant management through an intensive structured training program. The management development curriculum is divided into four key programs. First one is shift management, developing trainee managers in the skills and techniques required to become effective in all aspects of running a shift. Next is system management, which is targeting second assistant and newly promoted first assistant managers. This program covers all area of McDonald's system, increasing the manager's business knowledge. It also develops individual techniques. Third one is restaurant leadership. It introduces managers to the key skills needed to become effective restaurant leaders. Example, team building, communication skill, decision making skills. The last one is business leadership. It focuses on restaurant or general managers on the need to develop a business strategy that encompasses both internal and external factors. Most departments in the regional offices offer restaurant managers opportunities to be seconded to work in the regional office. This gives an experienced manager the opportunity to develop and learn new skills to see a different side of the business and to experience how each department's strategies have a role in achieving the company's goal. McDonald's believes that the success of the restaurant and the company is achieved through the people it employs. The company aims to recruit the best people to retain them by offering ongoing training that relevant to their position and to promote them when they are ready. Its recruitment policies, procedures, and practices reflect the company's determination to fulfill its aim. Thank you everyone for watching this video. See you soon with another interesting case study. Meanwhile, for more such case studies, please visit 5 Minutes Learning channel in YouTube and subscribe.